have you ever wanted to draw a person's face? Let's meet an artist who commonly draws faces. American artist Carl Gumbert was born in Brimfield, Ohio. Gumbert started taking painting lessons at the age of 14, with money he earned delivering newspapers. Since 1993, has taught painting, drawing, and art history at Maryville College in Tennessee. This is a current day self-portrait of Gumbert. Carl Gumbert created the ballpoint pen drawing Elizabeth. This type of drawing is called life drawing. Drawings that result from real observations are life drawings. Gumbert chose to draw a portrait of his daughter, Elizabeth. His daughter has her lips pursed and is gazing towards the left. Something of interest has caught her attention. What type of ballpoint pen did the artist use? You want a fairly dry ballpoint pen. A gel pen or a very liquid ballpoint pen will be difficult to control because the ink comes out smoothly and consistently. The eye was drawn using fine lines and cross-hatching. What is cross-hatching? Hatching is an artistic technique used to create shadowing effects by drawing closely spaced parallel lines. When lines are placed at an angle to one another, it is called cross-hatching. Why did the artist use the cross-hatching technique? The purpose of using hatching lines is to tell the observer as to which direction the light is coming from. Parallel lines fill an area with tone, light, and dark values. By varying the space and width, pressure, of the lines, you can make areas darker are lighter. As you can see, the light is shining on the right side of the face. The left side of the face was drawn using closer lines to create darker tones. Would you like to draw a face? First, you must gather supplies. Decide what drawing instrument you want to use. Ballpoint pens, crayons, color pencils. Next, what subject are you going to draw? Coloring book page, picture of self, book character. Finally, what type of paper are you going to draw on? Construction paper, sketch pad paper, white printer paper, now that you have all of your supplies, let's begin. Fold the paper in half. Cut the paper along the crease with scissors. Tape half of the paper to a full size sheet of paper. This will secure the paper from slipping during drawing. Place the other half of the drawing on the table so that you may refer to it. Pick up a pen, crayon, or color pencil and draw the other half of the face. Congratulations, you have completed your first face drawing.